What's going on, guys? Episode 7. We are back. WWE 2K19. My career. Apparently, we are now headed to Japan. We are not headed to Japan for sushi or the fine delicacies over in Japan. We're not heading to Japan to star in the new John Cena movie that he's filming with Jackie Chan. We're not going as some lame tourist who's <laughs> going to be looking around. Now, we're going to Japan to battle Shinsuke Nakamura. I'm really going to uh, show Nakamura what Knock America is all about, man. So let's pick it up. Let's see what's happening here, man. We are going to Japan. Mr. 9 to 5 has never been to Japan, bro. He's never been to Japan on business. This is his first trip. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he's sleeping on the plane. I, I could never get on a plane to Japan, man. What is it, like 19 hours, 20 hours? Nah, fuck that shit, man. I hate flying to begin with. I can't stand it. Yeah. He's about to take someone to the Mile High Club. Hey, honey, come on. The fuck was that about? He got up to do what? Look around, stretch? Am I gonna walk around the plane? Oh, look. I get to talk to people. Look, look at this. You got AJ, Brian, and Shinsuke. Now, before I click on Shinsuke, do you think... Do you think that they have Shinsuke and his actual voice in the game? I'm going to say no, so we're going to click on him, man. Let's see what happens. Glad you are getting your rest. You are going to need it when you face me in Japan. Oh, wow, they do have his voice. Glad you are getting your rest. You're going to need it when you face me in Japan. I heard you personally requ requested to wrestle me in front of your native fans. Let me just say, it's an honor, Mr. Nakamura. Yes, it will be a honor. That's the with you starting at the right. <laughs> You're a funny guy, man. You're a funny guy. It's going to end with me staring at the lights. Well, look at that. They had Shinsuke in the game. Let's talk to AJ Styles. This guy wanted me to hold his fucking briefcase, motherfucker. Motherfucker. I'm not your lackey. If SmackDown Live is the house that AJ Styles built, then the foundation was constructed in Japan. I learned that the audience there respects traditions like the fighting spirit and hard-hitting matches. And since it's your first trip, you better bring it. Oh, you mean the strong style that WWE doesn't mention on their programming. And in their games, apparently. Don't worry. I always do, Mr. Styles. There's one other Japanese tradition that you need to know. On your first trip, you're going to buy all the veterans' dinner. Hope you brought your credit card. Yeah, this guy has got some fucking balls, man. Listen, you may have fucking beautiful hair. Okay, but now you want me to hold your briefcase and now I gotta buy you dinner? We're not even dating, bro. Seriously. You're not my woman. You may look like one with the fucking hairstyle, but I don't buy dinner for no one that I'm not seeing regularly, bro. Come on. That's Mr. 9 to 5, though. JD will buy you dinner. Let's see what Daniel Bryan has to say. What's up, Brian? Listen, I know you're sitting I'm really Shane. looking forward to this trip. Is Shane bothering you, bro? What, what does he say? You diving into the McMahon secrets? Why is that? Because Triple H is not on it. And I'm excited to see your match against Nakamura, of course. Depending on how that goes, you might have a match at the Dome for our big WWE Network special. Oh, yeah, the Dome. That would be amazing, Mr. Brian. I hope it works out. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Before all that, I've arranged for you to take on an up-and-coming star from a Japanese promotion. You know, to help shake off any jet lag. An upcoming star from a Japanese promotion. Are we talking about uh, Kazusuka Okada, Kenny Omega maybe, Will Osprey? Who? I don't know. Who is it? I think it'll be more fun if it's a surprise. Oh yeah? I guarantee you it's none of those names. They'll probably give me some fucking masked idiot. With a generic name, I'm sure of it. Um, I, I guess we should go to the match. 
I guess we'll go to the match, man. I, I wonder who it is. Are they going to give me a highlight, or are we going to go right into it? I guess we'll go right into it, man. This is a, uh, a, a bum, a jobber from Japan. So, I might not do the traditional commentary that I've been doing for these videos. I may just go right into it, man. Yeah, we'll go right into it. Your opponent tonight has been creating quite the buzz of his own recently as one of this country's hottest new stars. It's Kenny Omega. It's so Kenny Omega, bro. I'm excited to see bro. you two face each other for the very first time in Japan. Give me the cleaner. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Watch Cole Quinn have like an 80 superstar rating. Well, listen, you know, this might not be the opponent that I want, but the storyline continuation here in my career is actually better than what we see on Monday Night Raw. Who would have thought Cole Quinn went to Japan, WWE's in Japan touring, and Daniel Bryan reached out to Cole Quinn. I like it, man. I think it's a good little simplistic storyline. Look at this, man. Shaking of the hands, nicely done there, yeah. Mr. 9 to 5. Mr. 9 to 5, man, I think we got, uh, I think we got someone here that's a winner in Mr. 9 to 5. I'm just saying. Big flying forearm, as always, Mr. 9 to 5, always with that explosive offense, bro. Nice back suplex. What do they call that, a Sido suplex? Irish whip there, hit hard. Elbow. Mr. 9 to 5 is working on Cole Quinn, bro. This should be easy. Up, oh, going for belly to belly. Cole Quinn blocks it. Stiff forearm shots there. Or, all right, look at this guy. He's learning, uh, he's learning quick, Cole Quinn. Fuck out of here, Cole Quinn. Yeah. Humble him. Yeah, you know, it's funny we're in Japan and we see all American fans, bro. Nice attention to detail there, WWE 2K. Oh, overhead, belly to belly, man. Nine to five, pulling out the stops. Uh, pulling out all the stops, I should say. What the fuck? Cole Quinn here, thinking he's hot shit. Nice move there by Cole Quinn. I'm impressed, bro. I'm impressed with Cole Quinn. That's a nice reversal there by 9 to 5. Reverse that vertical suplex into a neck breaker, bro. Back breaker there. Puts Cole Quinn down. Drops that heavy elbow. Just 9 to 5. Doing what's got to be done here, man. Shaking off that jet lag. Ooh, nice suplex there by 9 to 5. Drop kick blocked. Got him with that one, though. Got him with that one. Cole Quinn. Listen, bro, where are you going? Where are you going, bro? You, you trying to run away? Big vertical suplex there, man. Arm bar. 95 got him. Wrenching on that arm. Wrenching on that arm. You ain't going nowhere, Mr. Quinn. You may get me this time. You got me, you got me, you got me. Rolls through. Mr. 95 is in a hammerlock. Meets a back elbow, though. Nice arm drag there by 95. Had him well scouted. What? Nice move there. Almost like an implant DDT. Uh oh. You ain't getting your move off on me, motherfucker.
looking to bury him alive. Tombstone pile driver down, Cole Quinn. He's about to get his termination papers, man. That pen is gonna meet. Uh-oh. He reversed my fucking finishing move. Are you fucking kidding me? Go to the outside, motherfucker. Take a sip of my coffee while this guy's holding his rib cage. Again, with that drop toe hold. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Nice move, that could, fi that could finish him, hit him. Sunset flip power bomb, bro. Another reversal. Are you fucking kidding me? Am I wrestling Cole Quinn or am I wrestling fucking AJ Styles? Uh-oh. I could have went for a rope break there. I didn't have to struggle to kick out of that. Going for another tombstone, man. Bury him. Better than the Undertaker. Hit him. So he ain't kicking out of that. One, two. Yes, he is. I was gonna take a sip of my fucking iced coffee. All right, Cole Quinn. Enough of this fucking fun and games here, man. We're gonna we're, we're, we're gonna put the pen to paper, and then you're gonna be on the unemployment line. Okay? There you go. One, two, three. There you go. Go. We'll look at the replay because it's pretty. Look at it. Better than Velveteen Dream, bro. Pen him, so. What happened, Cole Quinn? Huh? Talking shit. Jumping tombstone pile driver there, nicely done. Referee couldn't even believe it. Well, what a highlight there. If those were the best highlights of the match, man, Kevin Dunn's got to be fucking fired. Paul Quinn here kicks out of the tombstone. And they didn't show the finish of the match. That's great. The non-Japanese faithful here in Japan. Look at this, man. Friends till the end. Cole Quinn. Maybe he gets a WWE tryout. I was waiting for the sneak attack. I was waiting for the turn, to be honest with you. Maybe Cole Quinn gets a job with the WWE and turns on Mr. 9 to 5. That would have been great. Now we're moving on to Nakamura, man. It's about time we invade Knock America. Let's see what happens in the next day, bro. Knock America. I'd like to get my U.S. title back. Maybe this all leads to a pay-per-view match with Randy Orton. Take his finishing move, bro. Uh-oh. Oh, look, Asuka. It said you had a successful Japanese debut last night. But tonight, you face the king of Songstar in his kingdom. And you will be lucky to go back to America with all your teeth. Look at this motherfucker. Does it really say all that? <laughs> More or less. This motherfucker, man, Nakamura's got some fucking balls on him, huh? Oh, my goodness. Nakam Nakamura, he's uh, the king of strong style, bro, and he's going to prove it against Mr. 9 to 5. We'll see what happens. This is, uh, I'm having a good time with this, man. I'm really having a good time with this. 
And I would have probably given up on last year's game. But at least this is at le- this is at least storyline driven. And I know it's probably the same and, you know, why people would watch uh, a dank or a pulse over me. Here we go, man. Yeah. Sold out. I'm assuming this is at the dome. It's the 9 to 5. Like I was saying, man, you know, I appreciate all you guys watching me. You know, I know it's all the same storyline. You guys can watch. You know, Dank, or Pulse, or, or, or Emu, or Tony Pizza Guy, Macho T, do all this stuff. But you guys end up watching me, man. I'm very, uh, very grateful for you guys watching me over anybody else. Because you literally could have had, picked anybody else, really. But I'm hoping to make a splash with this, man. And, and it's honestly helping me get to 100,000, which is going to happen. It's happening sooner than I expected, man. I gave myself maybe to the end of the year, but we're doing big things, man, with the podcast, with the weekly WWE coverage, and just being ourselves, which is great, you know? I have not strayed from that at all. Always be yourself. It's the 9 to 5, man. What, what, are you, what are you guys... What are you guys with your with your creative characters, man? I'm a, I'm at a superstar rating of about a 60. Is that where I should be right now? Uh oh. Uh oh. Looks like they upped his entrance this year. At least they have the updated music too, you know. I was worried that, like, some of those little details wouldn't be in the game. They did, they did a good job on his entrance this year, I think. He's definitely a lot more animated than he was last year. He looks a lot better, too. Still to this day, man, the best thing that Nakamura did in WWE was that match with Sami Zayn at NXT TakeOver Dallas. Phenomenal match, man. Unbelievable. Definitely one of my favorite matches in the last... Probably one of my favorite matches uh, in WWE history, period. I I thought that was one of the best debuts of all time for Nakamura. But here we go, man. Well, that worked. I didn't think that was going to work. I like coming out, starting strong. Like that shot. Got to be, got to be offensive here, man. We got to be aggressive against Knock America. Here we go. I'm looking to, I'm looking to reverse it. I don't know what to, I was waiting for a reversal. Nothing ever popped up. Oh man, pulling a pentagon there. Wait to reverse, man. What the fuck? There you go, finally. Hit him with the forearm again. Overhead belly to belly, nice there. Drop that heavy elbow, man. Drop the quick elbow. There's that heavy elbow. Nice belly to belly suplex there, man. I'm going to the top. Going to the top. Big splash. We got Nakamura right where we want him, man. That's a nice move there, man. I like that move. That modified Uranagi. Nice German release. Nakamura is not faring too well in Japan, bro. 
Big drop kick. We got him right where we want him, man. Nakamura struggling. Maybe he he's the one suffering from jet lag. We got me with that clothesline, though. Follow me outside, bro. Into the steel steps you go. Or the ring apron. I wanted the steel steps, but I got the apron instead. Now we'll do the steel steps. Yeah. I think Knock America has a new president, man. And he blocked my special. Of course he did. He got me with that big knee strike. You might get me with that shit, bro. Take your strong style and get the fuck out of here, man. Again, he blocked me. Again, he blocked me. Now he's got me in a single leg Boston. Uh oh. Single leg Boston crab. Get out of it. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Side rushing leg sweep. He blocked my special, man. I was about to finish him off. This may actually end up this. Uh oh. You ain't getting me, bro. Yeah, now it's about time. Now it's about time we uh, finish off Knock America, man. Cactus Jack like pile of driver. Boom, done. About to finish him off now. About to finish this guy off, man. No, of course. Of course. Of course. Nice. I don't believe this guy blocked my finishing move twice now. You know what? I'm going to pin him after that. Maybe taking a little bit too long there, bro. One, two, three. Holy shit. <laughs> Fucking beat him with a big splash. <laughs> Man, Nakamura talks a lot of shit. What was that about my teeth going down my throat? Yeah, exactly. I don't like the uh, I don't like the form on that big splash, man. I might have to change that up. Might have to change that up. Took a page out of the Usos there, man. Mr. Nine to Five did it. Went to Japan in Nakamura's hometown, man. And beat him. Uh oh. This guy's legitimately got a microphone in his hand. You may have gotten that win tonight, but next time, it ends definitely. Need to face. All right, two things I noticed there, man. Number one, Nakamura, go fuck yourself. Uh, two, the animations of when they're actually in the ring talking to one another is so much better than when they're talking to you backstage before the match starts. They look fucking ridiculous. They look absolutely fucking ridiculous, but we got to win. So it really don't matter. It is what it is, man. Knock America was conquered in Japan. So that's all I got there. What's next? I don't know. I think that's... Uh, I think that puts me in line for a WWE Championship match, don't you think? It would be Nakamura. Fuck the U.S. title. See what happens on the next day, man. If you guys are enjoying this, man, hit that thumbs up. Try and get a thousand thumbs up on this, man. I think it's been suffering a little bit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I thought he was going to say something to AJ. Walk right by Nakamura. Hey, go get your wrestling gear on. Why? 
I thought I didn't have a match tonight on the network special. After what I saw you do against Cole Quinn and then Shinsuke, you do now. I'm changing the scheduled AJ Styles versus Nakamura match to a triple threat, and you're the third participant. So I get to wrestle at the Dome? On the network special? Tonight? Yes, but not if you don't get ready, so go. Now, go! Oh my God, man. I wanted to hear Oscar tell me nobody was ready for Oscar. Look at this, man. Let me see what, uh, let's see what Nakamura has to say after his. Uh... If you didn't understand last night, I'll say it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we heard Tonight. You. We heard you. Knee to face. Jesus Christ. Can you repeat yourself anymore? You're getting a pen to paper. Yo, L'Oreal, what's going lie. on, bro? I'm a little disappointed that my big singles match with Shinsuke Nakamura has now changed to a triple threat match with a rookie. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, what is this rookie talk? We were, we're a former U.S. champion. We're not a rookie anymore, bro. Well, then you're really going to be disappointed when you lose to this rookie. Are you crazy? I may be from Georgia, but the legend of AJ Styles was born in the Dome. So there's no way I'm going to be upstaged by you or Nakamura. Oh, well, the fact that don't forget, uh, we can't you say still Tokyo need to buy dome now is it's just the dome, right? Uh, how about tonight after the show? It'll be a nice way to celebrate my big win. And undoubtedly number one contendership for the WWE Championship. Let's see what Daniel Bryan has to say. An opportunity like this doesn't come around very often. Not only because of where we are, but because of the circumstances. Triple H isn't here to try and hold you down. Owens and Zayn can't interfere. You control your destiny tonight. It's your chance to show the world live on the WWE Network that you belong in the main event picture on SmackDown. It's great. Thanks for giving me the... You know, Dan DeBryan seems like a really, really good friend, bro. He's really taking care of me. You can thank me by going out there and having the best match of your career. Oh, I mean, with AJ and Nakamura, it should be. That's self-explanatory. Let's go to the match, bro. See what happens at the dome. Tokyo Dome here. It's gotta be. Gotta be putting me in line for a WWE title match, man. Gotta be. I would be shocked if not. And then something will probably happen then, and Triple H will probably ruin that opportunity for me as well. Which is ridiculous. Let bygones be bygones, bro. I'm here now. I'm making you money. There we go. Does it look like the Tokyo Dome? I don't even, I can't tell. Here we go. Yeah, man, so, while we do these introductions because I like looking at them, I think it gives it more of a, uh, a, a real life presentation. Also, this be an opportunity to bullshit with you guys, man. What's coming up? I have this going up today. So you guys will be seeing this depending on when you see it. Uh, Thursday this week, I have an hour-long premiere on the channel with me entering second prestige of Black Ops 4. So you guys will definitely enjoy that, man. Classic, old-school Call of Duty rage coming up. And then Friday, Friday and Saturday are going to be big days, man. Friday, we're, we're literally going to document every single piece of information with the Roman Reigns leukemia story and where WWE is going, and all their plans, things being changed, Dean Ambrose heel turn, what's gonna happen with Seth Rollins, WrestleMania talk, just a ton of shit, man. So we're gonna go over that, and then Saturday, we are going to do a full Evolution preview and predictions, and then Sunday, we're gonna do the Evolution review. So a lot of stuff's coming. There he is, man. Knock America. I wonder how much longer. And I haven't really watched anybody else since my career. So I don't know. I mean, why would I? I don't want to be, you know, ruined of the surprises that come. But I wonder how much longer I have in this. So if you guys can kind of gauge 
and tell me in the comments below how much longer I got without actually spoiling anything. I would really appreciate it, man, because I do want to finish Spider-Man. And then I want to definitely start doing the universe mode. Now that I got the, the, the YouTube premieres, I think it's a great way to uh, do universe mode, man. It should be good. Gives me time to edit it, give you guys, you know, a, a really, really fun universe mode. Don't know how I'm going to go about it. Don't know if I'm going to mimic what's happening on TV and kind of make myself the GM and book it the way I'd see it. Or just come up with my own rosters and matches. So I don't really know. I think I'll kind of gauge people's interests on Twitter. There he is, man, AJ. The cover superstar this year. Man, the character models look really good. It's just the fact, you know, the one thing that pisses me off, the one thing that just irks me is the hair. The hair animation is so fucking lame. It looks so like PS2. This should be fun though, man. Triple threat. I much rather do a triple threat than a fatal four-way. Man, those are god awful. Because the animations when there's more than two guys in the ring just suffers so bad. Hit detections off. The way you can control your character. You want it to do something and then it doesn't do it. Just really bad, man. All right, let's get this match started, bro. This should be definitely a number one contenders match. I can only hope. Nine to five is ready. Knock America's ready. Styles is ready. Here we go, man. <laughs> we went for the same. We went for the same fucking thing, dude. Get out of here, Styles. Got you with that one, though, bro. Crowd's dead. Big scoops on. I'm getting the hell out of here. Hit Nakamura to red health. Missed the 9 to 5. Obviously, using that sledgehammer because it's Triple H's weapon of choice. Into the steel steps, you go, Nakamura. There you go. You got the apron and the steel steps. I got a double whammy. Yeah. The crowd seems dead, bro. It seems like a Monday Night Raw. Why? Turn around, turn around, turn around. Oh. He wants to gloat, too. Three amigos here, man. Or a version of it. Yeah. Get out of the ring. I didn't say you could come back in the ring, motherfucker. The 9 to 5 is uh, really uh, starting to prove his worth here, dude. Beasting. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. Oh. Oh, not look at this. What is, what is Styles doing? It's like mentally challenged. What do we got on this side? Can I get... Oh, I got a baseball bat, all right. We're gonna be, we're gonna be Sting for the evening. Uh, that, uh, that was a, uh, I would call that a double off the, off the green monster. I got both of them. Huh? I thought he was going for a back break or a fall away slam and here AJ Styles is reversing me. Okay, Naka, thank you Nakamura, I really appreciate it. Uh oh, he got me with that big knee. Got me with that big knee. Oh, look, oh, look, oh, look at this baseball bat. Uh-oh. Look at this motherfucker. 
he knew I was going for the baseball bat, and he clotheslined me over the top rope. Nice overhead kick there by Styles. Look at this baseball bat, nice and shiny, bro. Ooh, right over the head. <laughs> Get Nakamura to red hell. What does that mean? Well, Styles is out. Throw AJ over the top. Get him the fuck out of here. Oh, you want me to come, motherfucker? There you are. I gave you what you wanted. Look at the look at this motherfucker. Blocking my finishing move. Got me with the Kinshasa. Oh my god. I kicked out anyway. Thank god. Thank god that Styles was there just as a backup. Uh, can we get up? My character is dead, dude. There we go. Oh, uh, Styles, I got this, bro. All right. Oh my goodness. You're an Augie. Nice. Right on the bat. Right on the bat. Oh my goodness. Look at this animation, dude. Look at the animations. Like, I intentionally tried to do that to the referee, right? Here we go. Here we go. Uh-oh. AJ comes out of nowhere with that phenomenal forearm. He's dumped to the outside. Nice five goes to the cover. One, two. Wow! <laughs> I didn't even do anything! What? Are we having the formation of a new bullet club in WWE, dude? Holy shit. Wow. That's got to make us number one contender right now, man. With AJ Styles in our back pocket. You know, I don't like the way this is going, man. You know, if I was to predict something here. I think Mr. 9 to 5 is now in line for a WWE title match. And, you know, Mr. AJ Styles got that money in the bank. Is he going to betray us and cash in that briefcase and take the title away from us if and when we do win? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I'm no WWE uh, creative genius or anything, but we'll see what happens with that. AJ right now is in the back pocket of Mr. 9 to 5 and could probably use him to move up on the ranks here in WWE and on SmackDown Live, man. We're going to end it right there, bro. I hope you guys enjoyed this particular episode of WWE 2K19, My Career. If you did, please hit that thumbs up, and I will see you guys in episode number nine, man. What is going to become of this alliance between AJ Styles and Mr. 9 to 5, man? Hit that thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys are thinking. And I will see you guys in episode number nine. I'll talk to you guys later.